If you love me, I gotta work for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the name of love. Up, what's up my LV besties welcome back to another video my name is Candy and if you're new here thank you so very much for joining my channel and if you're not new here thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video I just want to first start off by saying I appreciate you guys so very much and all that you do in helping my channel grow from liking sharing commenting and by simply subscribing as well so thank you all so very much because anything that you do to contribute to it does help my channel grow and it means so much to me that you care, you guys care enough to click on my videos and watch and comment and follow me on this YouTube journey of showing luxury handbags. So I just want to first start off by saying today I am in collaboration with an amazing company called Lily Silk and I have their envelope that they sent me and inside the envelope is some cards giving some details about their company. So first of all, I just wanna show you guys this beautiful blouse that they sent me and it is in the emerald green color and it to me is a beautiful color, especially for the fall, for the winter. And I would even wear this in the spring months or summer months as well because I think green is a good color for all seasons, but picture this in the fall. How cute would this be in the fall? Very. So yeah, this is the shirt that they sent me and it's really cute because it doesn't really have a collar. It just kind of comes up and then you, it has a tie right here that you can tie however. And I just kind of looped mine through and let the tie hang loosely. And I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like standing up. So I just kind of left mine hanging. Um, excuse the wrinkles. I tried to get the wrinkles out, but I paired it with some like flowy, like, not dress pants, but kind of like some dressy, like beach top like pants. I just thought that it was cute. They taper at the bottom. It made a super cute outfit for sure. And so I'm going to also show you guys the other item that they sent me. And um, it's really great too. Hold on just a moment. So it is a pillowcase and it is a silk pillowcase. I went ahead and put it on a pillow so that you guys could see how great it fits. And this is just a regular standard size. I would say actually it's a little bit bigger than a standard pillow, but it's a good thick pillow and it went over it so nicely and just fit perfectly. And I think I chose standard. I think, I think they give you a choice and I chose standard. So super cute. This is a great pillowcase. If you guys aren't aware of what silk can do to you as far as my allergies are starting to run again, I'm so, so sorry. Please excuse my eyes, but there's nothing I can do. Anyways, if you guys aren't aware, sleeping on things like silk and satin is very good for your skin. It's very good for your hair because I'm having to wipe it off. Anyways, I've heard that sleeping on silk will help prevent fine lines and wrinkles. And then as far as your hair goes, I've heard that it will help prevent breakage and also prevent split ends. So worth a shot for sure. I know that it's um, something you can ask any hairdresser and they're going to tell you that because I have. So yeah, so I'm super excited that Lily Silk got in touch with me and asked me to do a collab with the, them because obviously, yes, who doesn't want 100% silk blouse and 100% silk a pillowcase. So I'm going to read you guys a few things that they sent in this envelope because it has some interesting facts about their company. So it says, Lily Silk's products are made with 100% pure natural mulberry silk. To bring you the ultimate comfort, we only use the highest quality grade 6A long mulberry silk fibers. All our silk products are, and I'm not real sure what this is, but I'm going to spell this out, O-E-K-O dash text certified and free from harmful substances. The 100% natural mulberry silk we use is rich in 18 different kinds of beneficial amino acids 
so that every inch of your skin and every strain of your hair, which I just spoke about, will be cared for naturally. We have been researching and innovating our manufacturing design and production process for many years. We are proud of our pioneering golden silk, which we have patented. We will continue our mission of being a game changer in the silk industry. So that's pretty cool. I just seen the back of the card. How cute is that? It says we treat every customer equally. We communicate with you sincerely and listen to your suggestions. At the same time, we will keep reflecting on our work processes and bettering them to bring you the best shopping experience. Lily Silk's products are priced fairly and reasonably so that you can enjoy timeless elegance and the beauty benefits associated with silk. Every employee of Lily Silk will serve you wholeheartedly. If you are dissatisfied with our service, please get in touch with us directly. Another good thing that they do is they have a 100-day free return policy. So if you don't like what you order and it, or the way it fits or whatever, you have 100 days to exchange or get a return for your items. You can also find sleepwear, comforters, and accessories at Lily Silk. And they are much thicker and durable than your typical silk items. So that's a very good thing to know because when you're looking into purchasing silk, which can be very costly and theirs is not, and then they have a much better quality, that's something you would want to look into or I would want to look into when I'm purchasing something expensive. But honestly, you guys, if you look up lilysilk.com, which I will leave their link in my description box below. You will see that they are having an amazing sale going on right now. And also, if you use my code, which is CANDY15, you will get 15% off of your order. So, you guys should check it out because they have an amazing sale going on right now. So, great quality at a great price. You can get you some very nice things from Lily Silk. So I just want to say thanks to Lily Silk for reaching out to me and letting me show my viewers your products. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my purse of the video and it is a my Pochette Matisse in the black on prompt. So this is not only my purse of the video, but I've actually got all my things in this bag right now. We ended up doing some things over the weekend and it was raining, so I threw all of my things into this bag because it's a great bag to take out in any kind of weather condition because it's black, all the way around black. So that is my purse of the video and my purse that I'm actually carrying at this moment. Okay. So okay. now it's time to get on with the video. And today I have an unboxing for you guys. I'm super excited. It is a new release that I did not think that I would like until I went to the store and seen this with my own eyes. I, I kid you not, you guys, that's how I work. I do not think I want them until I see them sometimes, and then sometimes I think I want them until I see them, and then I don't. So, anyways, I'm going to unbox this for you guys, and we will go over the details and everything else after that. Okay. Hope you guys had a great weekend, by the way. We pretty much stayed in because I can't hardly go out and do anything with my eyes because it burns and it hurts to see out of them. So I'm actually glad I'm not opening a Domier Azure bag <laughs> because I wouldn't be able to do this video if I were. Okay, so here is the bag. I can smell the leather. It smells so good. Okay, so there's the dust bag. So let's take this off. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of leather. Like, it's just amazing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just pull it out of the dust bag like this. Okay. So, here it is, you guys. It is the Oprah in the size BB. This is one of their newest released bags. I think this bag is so darn cute. I did not think I would care for it because... In the picture, it just didn't appeal to me. When I went to the Louis Vuitton store, I've seen the MM size sitting up on the shelf. My essay asked me if I wanted to look at it. And after he done sent me the picture and I said no, and then he still asked me again if I wanted to look at it. And I said no, because it was huge. It was really, really big. I knew that I didn't want any more bags that size. I already have the artsy bags I have 
the graceful i have the never full so i have a lot of big bags so i just kind of more like the smaller to medium bags right now due to the fact that i do have several like larger bags that i can carry so i shopped around for a little while and then he came out and set this bag down on the counter pulled it out of the dust bag and i was like oh wait i didn't know they had a bb size that makes all the difference in the world so anyways let me do a 360 for you guys real quick get that out of the way so here's the front of the bag or it could be the back i don't know i didn't even check the side the back honestly don't think it matters the other side and the bottom and you guys look at the details on the bottom i love 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 how the i'll show you from right here i love how the leather is on the side and then wraps around to the bottom and just goes into that monogram is that not so cute I just love when they put extra details in their handbags. I just think that's such a good thing when it comes to making bags look different than other bags is when they add little details like this because I don't have any other bags that have the leather that goes straight into the canvas on the bottom. So that's a super cool feature about the bag. And if you cannot already tell, this is smooth calfskin leather on both sides of the bag. And of course, it's, this is the coated canvas on both sides of the bag as well. Another thing I think is so cute, and I'm gonna put the bag up close for you guys to, guys to see, is look at the little rivets on the handles. How cute is that? So these are just or, ornamental rivets on the rolled leather top handles and heritage inspired leather handle mounts. That's what it says online anyways. So I just think it's so cute how they have it with the little leather wrapped around the rivets right there on both straps on each side. Super, super cute how they did that. Again, more details to this bag. So they're actually putting in extra details to this bag versus some of just the regular canvas bags that they've recently came out with and leather bags as well. And of course you can tell that is dark brown leather. So I do like all the combinations of the dark brown rolled leather handles, and then the monogram coated canvas mixed with the grained and smooth cowhide leather on the sides. Okay, so that's basically the details on the outside other than it's got gold hardware, which you guys can see right there. It has one zipper to open it up. And then let me tell you guys, when you open this bag up, it is huge. Look how wide this bag opens up. <laughs> It's like extremely huge and it has a strap as well, a crossbody strap or shoulder strap. And so it is in black leather. So I would wear this bag crossbody. I tried it on as a crossbody and it looks super cute, which I will show you guys that in a few minutes as well. But anyways, back to the bag. So the inside is all black microfiber lining. And of course it's one big compartment here. A front pocket or bag let's see if i can tell the difference real quick okay so this is the back of the bag so one big pocket in the back and then another big pocket in the front and these are magnetic so i love that part because these are on the outside of the bag so once you zip the bag up you can still open up the sides of the bag and stick whatever you want down in there and i love that because you already know what I'm going to say, my phone. <laughs> I can stick my phone in the sides of this bag and to be able to have easy access to it without opening up my bag, huge plus in my book when I can have easy access to my phone, always. So pretty much all the details I can give you guys. I love it. I love the brown handles mixed with the black. I think that's really different and just nice. I think it is a very classy looking bag or it's one you can dress up and one you can dress down in my book. So I'm going to show you guys what all I can get in this bag, which is going to be more than that I even carry, but I'm still going to show you guys so y'all can have an idea. And I guess I could give you guys the dimensions of the bag right quick. If you see me looking down, by the way, I look off of my iPad now instead of my phone because I've been videoing on my phone. So it's 10.2 inches in length. 
7.1 inches in height and 5.9 inches in width. So this is a pretty good size bag for a BB that is. So imagine this, the MM size, like it was so big. Now I'm sure there's so many people out there that prefer that. But like I said, I just am leaning more towards the medium and smaller bags because I just have a lot of the large ones. So once I saw this BB, I, I just fell in love with it. I, I really did, you guys. Like, it is a beautiful bag, and it's even more beautiful in person. And it's one of those bags, like, when he pulled out of the dust bag, I was just like, oh, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so pretty. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in this bag, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on, okay? We're never surprised with what I have. <laughs> never. And I probably won't use the outside pocket a whole lot because everything is going to fit down in this one compartment just fine. I don't even, oh, let me get all the little tags out for now. I'll show you guys a product code in case you want to go online and order it. I'm hoping that focuses is focusing. Okay. I'm gonna put these back down in here. Okay, my zippy coin wallet's gonna go in there. My mini pochette is going in there too. And this is all like I said in the middle compartment. My Gucci pouch just fitting in there just perfectly. I just have some extra little things and actually these I probably would put in my, not the little pill um, case, I'll stick that down in there, but my extra sanitizer and chapstick, I may stick like on the side of the bag because I just keep extra ones sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, for easy access. So let's zip this up real quick and make I'll make sure that it all fits. And then I'll show you guys what it all looks like inside, okay? And then I have my phone case that I'm going to stick in the front pocket. And I have a 13 Pro Max in case you guys are wondering. So what else can I put in here? Of course, we know a little key pouch could go down in that back pocket if you wanted to keep like um, and some extra cards or whatever. So that's in there. I could even put another thing of lotion, which I have a lotion in my mini pochette, but the bag is such a good size that it would fit too. Um, AirPod case, because my AirPods are in my room, I can stick those down in the middle compartment. My little manicure set, I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere. I think it's sitting on my nightstand. I think I had to use it the other day. So... As big as this bag is, we know it would fit in there, and so would my shades. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside of the bag without trying to tip it over. So there is all of my things. My phone case is in the front pocket, and in the back is an extra chapstick and sanitizer. So yeah, look at all that that goes in the middle. So this bag holds so much in just the middle compartment that it leaves you so much room to carry other things on the outside pockets of this bag. And that I love. But if you didn't want to carry everything in the middle, of course you can put other things in the front and back pocket. I was just trying to see what all I could get down in the middle compartment. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what this bag looks like on. And I like the black leather strap with this up against this bag because it just brings out the black in the bag. I think that's pretty. Um, it would probably also be cute if you had a strap the, the same color as this leather. That would be cute. And we all know that I have a regular monogram strap. So I'm going to show you guys with the one that it actually came with. Okay, so here is the bag crossbody. And this is how I will carry it because it's a great crossbody bag it lays right up against my hip where I like my bags to lay when I carry them crossbody and it's easy access right here to grab out my phone when I need it so 
a definite crossbody bag for me, 100%. Uh, I, I think it would be cute top handle, I do think, but as far as like wearing it on my body, I like it just like this. And I don't think it sticks out too far like my Neo Noe bags do. I would I don't wear them crossbody because they're really bulky. But the way this one lays, I think this one looks fine. I may get on here and edit and say, oh heavens, absolutely no. <laughs> but as far as I can see right now, it looks okay crossbody. And it looked okay crossbody when I tried it on at the store in the mirror. It's just sometimes when I see things on video, I change my mind. But right now, I'm good with the bag crossbody. Okay, so here is the bag as a shoulder bag, which is still a great way to carry this bag. If this is not a strap that will slip off your shoulder, those are the kind of straps that I like because a lot of my wider straps will slip off of my shoulder, but these thinner ones, they do not. So that's what it looks like crossbody. And of course, if you wanna carry it, top handle you can carry it like that on your wrist or like I said top handle which if I carry one top handle it's going on my wrist and you can even sling the strap over and carry it like that until you want to wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody okay so I actually think I'm going to leave my things in this bag because even though it's calling for rain all week this bag is going to be just fine in the rainy weather because it's another bag that the rain will not ruin and i love it i love bags like that but what do you guys think y'all think this is a cute bag like i absolutely just adore it i think it's just a great everyday bag that you can throw all your things in and it's a practical bag it is a bag with many options such as the three compartments I love the way they designed it like that. I don't know if you guys have ever looked. I want to say it's the Montaigne bag. The Montaigne bag. It also has the compartments on the outside and then has a middle compartment on the inside. So I know that bag is designed somewhat similar to this one. And the Palais bag is somewhat similar. So, but all in all, like this is a great design. It makes me so happy when Louis Vuitton puts out bags that are more practical and more everyday than bags that are not. <laughs> like, we love extra pockets. We love to have that access, considering how many of us need to be able to hear our phones and such. Or if you want to slip your car holder down in there to have easy access to it, or your keys, or whatever it might be, you ha you can, you have that option. So when they give us more options on these bags, yet make it stylish and cute, then that's my kind of bag. So once again, the Oprah in the size BB. Love it. It's so, so, so cute. I'm so glad I went in and actually looked at this bag because I would have never bought it online or through my essay had I not gone in and looked. And that's why I love to go every now and then because... <sighs> Like I said before, if you don't go and see them in person, a lot of times you may like them and a lot of times you may not. And then sometimes you miss out on the bags that you would like by not going in and seeing. However, I also can't help. I live so far away. I'm not going to move to Dallas to be able to be closer to Louis Vuitton. I don't think my husband would go for that. So I did what I can do and when I get to go, I am so happy because I will look in there and tell my husband's telling me to come on, come on. So anyways, all right. So that is my new bag. I'm so excited to have it. And I do think this is going to be a bag that I'm going to get a lot of use out of. Honestly, you guys like probably will not switch out of it for a good while. <laughs> but anyways, I just also want to say if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please go over and do that. And I will leave that right here for all of you guys to see. And if, sorry you guys, I have to keep wiping my eyes. It's so crazy what it's doing. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it so very much. If you would just click that subscribe, it only takes just a second. And it's obviously free and it helps 
my channel grow tremendously when you guys subscribe. And also, if you would not mind, give me a thumbs up. And also, leave me in the comments below what you think about the new Oprah bag. And also, what you think about my beautiful emerald green silk shirt from Lily Silk. And again, I will leave all of the links for Lily Silk in my description box below as well. So, anywho, I am going to let you guys go. And I am going to leave you as I always do. But I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time of day it is that you are watching this. And for me, it is a good morning. I know that's rare. I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye. Gotta hurry now, cause we stay in control in the name of love.